okay guys we have already talked about the genome and the DNA structure or RNA structure of a virus particle now in this video we'll be looking at uh, the protein structure of the virus particles and the type of proteins virus usually have inside now so let us begin with it right now usually the protein is uh, providing the protection to the genetic material of the virus it is covering the genetic material inside so again uh, let me st start with drawing the basic structure so if these are the subunit of proteins and they form the outer shell like structure outer coat uh, like structure now inside this coat there is the bacterial gene so here comes the bacterial gene so it, it can present uh, we, know, we know that uh, in, from the previous video that this uh, D, uh, th whatever this is DNA or RNA it is present there by a kind of a DNA pro protein conjugate or RNA protein conjugate and like structure so they are kind of secondary and tertiary modified structure of the nucleic acid inside but the protein structure outside can be varied from type to type right in all this picture I always draw this kind of circular structure but actually uh, there is no such circular structure found uh, very very few circular structure uh, found in case of viruses usually virus structures are extraordinarily symmetrical they are kind of symmetrical in nature and also uh, the structures are kind of geometrical geometrical so if you look at those viral structures you can find very fine level of geometrical arrangement on those structures and usually uh, four different kinds of structure can be seen for the viruses so uh, so one is say helical one is so let me draw helical second one is so helical structure uh, so second one is uh, rod shaped structure third one is icosahedral hedral structure and fourth one here is uh, the cone like structure so if I draw one example or picture for each of the structure the helical structure is something like like looks like this so this is a kind of helical structure of viruses and inside this helical structure there should be the viral genome right so this this structure that I have drawn this is this is made with protein so if, uh, if we draw it with much more detail it will look something like that so inside it inside it say inside it this this is the genome of, of that uh, of this virus so it is having a structure like that and if I write uh, the rod like structure it is a completely different type the rod like structure means it will have this these protein molecules are arranged and organized to make a structure like that now icosahedral structure is completely different it is very good and I like the structure very much you soon uh, definitely going to love that so if I draw icosahedral structure it will look something like that that's a pretty of, pretty of challenge to draw this structure so let me draw it pretty carefully let's say this this and this and then once we get this I draw this, this, this. Sorry, so last part is yeah. Like so, this is a kind of icosahedral structure. If I uh, I'll draw it uh, enlarged, uh, then you can see how the structure is arranged, and we'll be uh, doing a completely different. Uh, discussion about this structure so this is kind of icosahedral symmetrical structure so you can see how geometrical structure it is this is really beautiful if you don't like this structure you probably do not love anything anyways now and the fourth type of structure here is called the cone uh, type of structure in this kind of structure you are having something like this like this kind of cone shaped structure like that okay so these are the four and among these four types of structure two are the most common structures and one is this helical another one is this icosahedral so these are the most common most common structures that are usually found in maximum virus particles okay <clears throat> okay now uh, the protein that are uh, arranged to make this kind of structure are called capsomere this this small protein units are called capsomere so protein units those are capsomeres 
So capsomeres are organized and they are arranged. So many more capsomeres are organized with each other. They are attached to each other to finally produce what we call as a capsid, which is simply a protein coat surrounding the genetic material. It's a simply a protein coat surrounding the genetic material like that. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, now if I uh, look for first the helical structure of the back, uh, of viruses actually. So these are the basic part of the structures and usually let me talk another important thing about the structures that this protein that are making the viral structures, the protein are varying from virus to virus and usually there are two types of protein that are involved. So types of proteins, types of proteins found in virus. There are two types of protein. One type of protein which are called structural protein. Another type of proteins are called non-structural. Non-structural proteins. Okay. Now usually all this capsid and all the structure are coming from the structural type of protein. Now among the structural protein <coughs> Excuse me. Among the structural protein, we can have this capsid proteins, those glycoproteins, those phosphoproteins, and all these different kinds of proteins. Now, among non-structural proteins, we can also have glycophosphoproteins. And these proteins, these non-structural proteins, they are required. And these non-structural proteins are not uh, very much important because in most of the viruses we can only fi find this uh, structural protein. So this is the most common. This is most common. That they only have a genetic material and a structural protein. That's all. That's it. But in very few type of virus particle can have some non-structural proteins and those non-structural protein uh, presence is rare first of all and if they present they can have some extra extra functions extra functions inside the host cell inside the host cell for that reason they are having this kind of some extra kind of non structural proteins like some enzymes and something but <clears throat> but if uh, we are talking about most of the viruses they generally do not have any structure non structural proteins usually they are having only the structural proteins which are making uh, the capsid which are making the capsid and the unit of the protein is called capsomere they are organized to provide the capsid right and the nomenclature of the virus uh, proteins are not that much that much defined because uh, you can find the uh, different types of protein you can find if I, if I let me take it if you can find G protein you can find P protein okay and so on different level or different naming of protein but uh, G protein is usually termed as those glycoproteins and P proteins are for the naming of phosphoproteins but you don't have that kind of hard and fast rule for nomenclature of the proteins of the viruses okay so these are the different types of proteins that you're going to see but uh, the most important one is a structural protein because it is providing the structural role to make this capsid right in the future video we'll be learning about uh, the detail of the helical and as well as the icosahedral capsid protein structure.